Hello, this is Emily with Yesterday's Stash. A few weeks ago, uh, a friend of mine went to a yard sale and um, that Monday she brought me all of these different um, scrapbook packs that she had found. Um, and here are two of them. This is called uh, Boho Chick. It's by um, the Paper Studio. And here's some of the pages that um, it's, it's a lot of grays and uh, floor of uh, white, uh, gray and kind of a white, maybe you would say, or light gray, dark gray. It's, it's a pretty paper. And then there's this one. It's called Just Plain Black and White that she bought. It's still from the paper studio, and it's just called Black and White, and it's really got some interesting geometric designs and... Um, so I decided that I was going to make some sort of a, um, a book using these two and then trying to find a color to really make it a contrast. And that's when I came, I found this type of, uh, it's a handmade paper that looks like it has a, you know, a, a, a five, five dots, five circular dots. So there's a lot of dots uh, here. Uh, this is what the paper look like uh, when I got it or found it. It's, um, uh, it, this is the pink. It also comes in a, a pale blue and it also came in a, uh, in a pale green. But uh, it's a very thin kind of a, uh, you know, uh, easy, easy to, well, it's, it's handmade. So it's, it's, it's a little, uh, not flimsy, but delicate, I should say. So I thought that if I covered it with the gray or the black, that that would make a nice design. And that's what, what I have done here, um, using grays and blacks and pinks, basically, in this book. So um, the book is called Dots and Dots, or, or Lots of Dots, um, Lots of Dots, Lots of Dots, because it has so many uh, you know, so much of this on it. Um, then I found, I had, uh, found at a thrift store a package of, um, this, these little black flowers. It was a package of 25 intact, had never been opened or used. And then I just found some other, um, um, flowers that, uh, in a pink and a black. And this one I kind of put a shine on. Um, and, uh, that's how I made my book. So in the, uh, the book, the outside of the book, I have put two um, designs that uh, came out of magazines that I put with cardboard uh, on the back, white cardboard, um, so it's a, a corrugated and it's, it's stiff, and it's pictures I found out of magazines. And what I used is this, um, uh, what we call um, rub and buff, I use that on here to give it a little bit of glitter. And so that these that's the pockets that go in the front and the back of the book um, that I used just pictures from my stash and put put a um, eyelet on it. And so that's what that's what that is. Um, the, I actually laced the book with an interesting design of black um, a black ribbon and what I did with this one is I took anything that I could find that was pink in my stash and made uh, and and used it um, if it if it applied this strip here and the one on the back that corresponds with it is also um, has a little bit of a bling to it so I tried to put some bling uh, on the book so opening the book up, just wanted to let you know the, a few things about the book. It is seven by five and three fourths uh, with about two and a half inches. It has got four signatures. It is 48 pages and front and back 96. And it's got 23 regular sized pages that you can, um, uh, 
journal on and the, the paper is a thicker paper it's not your regular in fact it's it's um, what we call resume quality paper this actually is what people use to make um, certificates for people that I found at the at the thrift store and then this is what I call Cambridge paper because it's sort of the the um, um, paper that was used back in the day for what we do Excel on uh, with in, on computers so there's uh, quite a few pages here like that that can be used for journaling on I also have in each of the four signatures I have what we what I call short pages and these short pages are they're act it's actually uh, an airline pilots um, record book. Um, it remarks, procedures, maneuvers, uh, type of piloting time. And the, the book was just so cute and it had lots of, um, had lots of clean sh paper. So I just took a lot of washi tape and decorated it, did some stamping. I've got some um, charms or, or brackets and you know things, all kinds of things to make the book have uh, lots of character. So it's definitely a book that has uh, some different, something different in it. So um, this is some of the gray floral, uh, uh, you know, it has that uh, finish on it. And then um, uh, each of the pages, I have tried to use some sort of a design where I've got some pink, some gray, some black. Uh, this is one of those take-and-go books that you traditionally find in the uh, books that I've made thus far. Uh, I, I am relatively new to the to the whole community, but I ha have um, really enjoyed making uh, a variety of books and putting them um, in my shop, and it's just worked out really well. This is a little note of gratitude, and um, what that is is this this right here it's called um, gratitude uh, is committed to making an impact in areas of domestic education and research for cures of diseases of the brain and it's called gratitude always um, and so you open this up and it has all of these different notes of gratitude and what I did was I took and put an eyelet on it and a garment pin and I stick them in my books uh, as a little extra something. I love to have positivity in my books. I've used some silver thread to do some designing on here. Um, then lots of pockets, uh, lots of lace. I have quite a few different laces in here. And like I say, anything that I saw that was pink, this is actually from Theodosa Square. This is actually, I'm not quite sure where this, this pink and brown paper came from, but it's very bright. Uh, here's another one of those um, um, little gratitude things, except it's not called gratitude. This one is called Thoughtfuls, and uh, it's made by a company called Compendium, and it's called live-inspire.com, which I'll put that in the description box below. But it's these little pop open, pop open here, and then I've taken this little uh, clip here and attached them uh, several to the book using these little clips here. This is a piece of lace that has gone on here. Um, some more, um, I, don't, I don't have anything in this one, but uh, it will be, there will be something. But I've taken this uh, different pieces of paper, done trims on them, uh, and used lace on them, um, and, um, this is a little, every, everyone smiles in the same language. It's a little uh, card that can be used. I'm not quite, not, that must go right here. That's what that is, goes right here. And then uh, I love to collect pictures of old, um, old uh, photographs and old photos. This is actually called Queen Charlotte. And it's like a little tag here. And this is just a little fold tag. And then I included some little, um, a little paper clip, Oh Happy Day. Um, this is a belly band and it has another um, happy statement, um, another picture of a boat and a picture of seaside, which um, 
um, I uh, love pictures uh, in magazines that are pictures of the ocean or the water or the seaside or boats or whatever. Another one of these uh, books in this little pocket. This this has a um, a, a kind of a, an interesting 3D trim on it, and then I took and did some decorative stitching around it and added some lace to it. Um, this is also Theodosa Square. This is a pocket that's a hidden pocket here, which I, I don't have anything in it, but it will be, it's something that is, uh, that you can use. This is actually from a, an old placemat that I actually uh, picked up and have cut into, um, it's a placemat that I bought in Prague. Uh, there was an open air market and they were selling things. Um, and this is a big wide piece of washi tape of England. And I'm an, a real uh, um, Anglophile or love England and um, have put some of the, the more rub and buff in the silver on, on this and added that. Um, more positive statements, positive statements and some tucks. This is a bag here that um, uh, you can take and use as you want. Um, this is actually a piece of, of an old dress. Uh, and I took it and cut it, cut the dress apart and used that as a tuck spot. Um, and this is one of those pictures out of a book. Uh, this one is a group at a country house and it tells who it is and the date is 1862. And then there's something about the story um, and uh, fashion, actually, and, and about crinolines. And they were showing the picture of crinolines and talked about how men fe felt about the crinol crinolines back in those days. Uh, another positivity, a couple of more uh, tags. And um, this is an actual open it up. Um, you have to obey all the rules. You'll miss all the fun. Um, this is from old uh, magazines that I have a collection of and uh, newspapers and um, such. And uh, this, this is an advertisement that I cut out and put a finish on and put um, a circle, uh, put a trim around it and used it in um, different um I've used these these magazines in different ways. Here's an example. It's called Art Amateur, and right here on the back, you can see all of the different uh, advertisements that they have. And this Art Amateur is dated um, March 1894, um, and that's the kind of thing that I, you know, cut out the uh, advertisements and. Uh, put them on a uh, backing so they can be used as a tag. Uh, here's some more trim uh, that has a little bit of a, of a shiny bling on it. Um, more of, uh, this is skating in Vienna and, um, and that date is 1887 and this is um, the Kaiserian Augusta Victoria Consort of Kaiser Wilhelm. 1891. And again, there's this is a, a shiny paper that I found that had all of the colors in it that would make, you know, make a good addition to the book. This right here is using hem tape, black hem tape around here. And this is a, uh, just found this picture online. I thought it was really neat because it had pictures of books in it. And I'm a book lover. Um, this is another one of the ads. This is for Gusilla, uh, and it's actually was color in this. And this is where I take and did, and did a little bit of sewing of stripes together using different stitches. And then um, I got hooked on making these little glassine bags. And I just, I made like 50 of them. I just got so involved in them and then I was able to cut them off and then I have quite a few little uh, ATC cards that I would stick in here. This one actually is an index card that has been um, tur turned into a little, um, a little note card. Really enjoy taking um, yarns and things and turning them into 
uh, turning them into tags um, using brown. This is brown eyelet and uh, another uh, example of uh, just using an index card. This is where I took uh, some ribbon and did that um, um, trim on the ribbon on the paper and on the pocket. Uh, and it was uh, just a lot of sewing in the book and using decorative stitches. I also collect um, postcards, and as you you know, you go to a, ju a, a junk you know a junk store or a thrift store, or um, and people buy these sets of postcards to put um, you know for uh, my. Um, memorabilia and then they end up getting rid of them uh, and the ones that I have here are um, there were 50 cents for all those uh, like you know 10 or 12 postcards these are from the Smithsonian and um, Smithsonian and Washington DC um, National Portrait Gallery and the National Museum of uh, History of American History up in in the District of Columbia uh, I used right here is where I used um, pattern paper and uh, put a you know put some design on it and some lace and turned it into a belly band and this came off of a greeting card and it's uh, a, a layer of um, different pinks designs all glued together in a 3d pattern and some more uh, tags I have quite a few um, or put some um, little charms on the outside of these of the book more fashion tags old advertisements a bookmark that had Bargello in it and then because I have such a huge collection of magazines, I like to take them. It was really hard to cut into it at the beginning. But this is Scribner's Magazine from 1902. And I've put a bunch of pages fr from the magazine in here that can be used however you want. You can cut them, you can read it, you can make it into tags or pockets, um, however. And that's the other side of the tissue paper pattern. Um, this is some sheets of... Um, doilies that can be used. Here's another uh, charm. Um, a Maya Angelou st statement. Another one of these little books. Um, another um, positivity statement that's attached using the, um, the little clasps. These are library pockets that I used my cuddle bug and went in and did a design on them and um, turned and just added it as a pocket to a book that has some little embellishment on the outside of it. Another one uh, very similar to it. And then this, uh, these pages here are from what we call um, smash books. And you can pick up smash books at um, Tuesday morning for uh, 49 cents. And it's lots of lists that you can copy or tea stain and look uh, turn into uh, little tuck spots or little places for people to journal on or make their lists on um, but this is the example again of where I used a, uh, a kind of a glitter to cover the outside of um, of the trim um, and more of this uh, putting the pages together using some of the different um, and uh, one of these take and go books for notes this is actually a, an old castle in England that has been turned into a, um, a con it's a visit the country home, but it actually has turned into a tea room gift shop, um, uh, sort of a place for people to go and restaurant. There's so many old castles in England that are needed to, um, needed, needing to be protected. Um, and have been refurbished um, thanks to the uh, National History Society. This is something I found in a used bookstore. It was a whole bunch of them. A, a, a girl had come in and made a bunch of these little pockets 
uh, and then had put them in the store um, to be sold. And this is just another one of those uh, tags. On this particular pocket, I actually did a little pleat and did some uh, gold uh, trim around the edge, and that's uh, that. The rest of these are journaling pages. So included in every order, uh, I like to include things that I think that I couldn't fit into the book that I wanted to ultimately go in the book. So there will be a little um, pocket or bag or envelope uh, with uh, little extra fun things in this book. So dots, lots of dots is the name of the book, and it will be on my, a sale in my Etsy store. Yesterday's stash. And I thank you for watching.